off the undercarriage, Fred. Yo! What up, y'all? Welcome back to another one. What you're about to see. Some of you have seen it. We got a lot of new subscribers here. But this is one of my favorite public land duck hunts from last season. Walk in only, me and a buddy and old Frederick. Yep. Two brothers. Two good dogs. No judge was not on this hunt, just Fred. He got sprayed by a skunk. We deal with it at the end. We find a home remedy and we wash him up. But if you have not heard, uh, I am putting all my unedited videos, content over on Patreon. My, my Patreon is called Blind Talk Podcast. So all my podcasts plus all of my raw, uh, Bobby just being Bobby, using the language I want, talking about what I want, all the stuff that I can't put on here is going over there. A video just went up again. We're giving away a two-man hunt over there to come to Sand Hill Flyways this coming season, y'all. That giveaway will be happening in September. Thanks to all the new members for joining. That goes directly to supporting your boy. I thank you guys so much. The podcast Patreon is linked down below. Go join Blind Talk. It's a bunch of fun. Let's get into this hunt. 707. It is time to eat. Time to eat, yeah. I guess let's not, but only something in the decoy is easy to find. Right. Oh, there's the first shooter, McGee. <laughs> no, sit. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Let him get in there. Is that Gaddy's? Here they come, here they come, here they come. Shoot him. Oh, missed him. We dropped one. Oh, he's going down right behind us. We just had one go down right there. I marked him. Fred! Watch Frederick. Boy, they got down in there. Right here? Dead bird. Oh, there he got him. He got him. Good boy. Good boy, drop. Look at that. Look at that. First big duck of the year. Huh? I said, and it's not a shoveler. It's not a shoveler, thank God. I couldn't determine if they were a mallard or a gadwall. See, I couldn't tell if they were a gadwall or a widgeon. I oh, knew, really? Yeah, I knew they weren't, I knew they wen't mallards. Is that two teal in there? No, those are snipe. Okay. Uh, hen gaddy, off of the get-go. Thank God it ain't a spoon, Bill, but I'd take it anyways. Good boy, Fred. Man. This is beautiful. Here they come. Yep. Shoot them right there. Oh, hell yeah. Three. Four. Okay. Oh, no, that one's keep going. That one kept going. Right behind us here. He's dead. Yeah, mark, mark those. Fred. No. Fred. Fred, back! Right there, dead bird. Fred. Good. Good boy, here. Let's go. Here. Drop. Alrighty. Blue winger. Young blue wing. Yeah, just right in front of you to the right a little bit. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Dude, that was sick. That was a beautiful group of teal. Man, this spot is quite amazing. Been wanting to hunt it for a long time. All right, come on, Chris. You got two so far? Yeah, one went here and then two went here. So one and then they fell. You got two? Yeah, I saw for three, sure, sure, three right here. That was freaking sweet. 
Uh, Fred, dead bird. No. Maybe it's just white. Okay, no. Whew. You scared me. No, I, I mean, I wasn't <laughs> saying it to do it. I swore, it must have been a bubble. I was like, I see there white on it. Oh, you, oh my God, shoot him. Oh, oh, they're way out. Okay, let's just get... Oh my God, this is awesome. Yeah, buddy. Fly and enjoy this a little bit longer. Yeah. Tell me, this ain't badass. Yeah. This is awesome. Cool. So we got the three and the one flew away. Yeah. So. Yep. Yep, big duck trout above us, loving that's a dude. Is that a pintail? Yeah, you see that? I saw it. Oh, they like it. They like it. Holy crap! Right there, they're on the right, getting down. Here they come. I got uh, that duck strap over here. Keep an eye out. I'm gonna get these ducks all strapped up. All right, you want to put yours on here? Are you good or? Okay, yeah, you can store them on here so you ain't trying to hold them. Here, slide them in there. Look, I got a steel in my bag too. Oh, do you? I'm just going to hang this on this pole, so. No, that's fine. Okay. You're halfway. Yeah, I'm at three. Man, that one, he was wounded. That was the one that got up. That came around the back. Oh, that you shot? Yeah. Back there? Yep. Did you find it? Yep, I got him. Big ducks right yeah, there? I see the big ducks, yep. Oh, 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 set. Get ready, shoot them big ones. Shoot them. Coming right at us. Oh, come on, fall, bitch. Oh, thank you. I was like, I hit you. <laughs> Friend. <laughs> Dude, I thought he was coming at us, and he just stayed there. Yeah, dude. Well, Good boy. Fetch him up. I hit him Good. hard with the first one. Yeah, I him on the second, and he was just there. <laughs> I just helped you. No, I appreciate it. Oh, dude. The widge. Yes. Look at that beautiful. Right. Ding. First big duck. Look at that. That's yours, nice. dog. That's a beauty, dude. Nice. What a beauty. An early season widgeon. Oh, my God. And the one that's a really nice early season widget. Yeah, for early season. I'll show you guys when we get some more daylight here. We've only been shooting, what, 10, 15 minutes? Yeah. Maybe 10? Yeah, that, well, 721. So you're at three. I'm at three. You got two teal, right? And a widget, yep. Here's what I found. The white wings. <laughs> what a beauty. Look at the head on him. He's stud, dude. He is. Dude. Look at the sprig on him. Not bad. Dude, this early? Are you kidding me? Yeah. God, he's he's flipping gorgeous, I man. I've ever shot that pretty of a widgeon this early this season. No way, I haven't either. I'm talking second week in November is the earliest she'll shoot an okay one. Yeah, no, I completely agree. Two. Look at that. Oh, look out in front, another flock working. Oh, look, they're landing. Oh, they landed a ten pack of teal. Uh, just passing on the teal. Um, I want to shoot another big duck. I got one to go look for. Um, possible. Possible I'll find him. I'm going to try, but I'm going to shoot one more big duck. Um, and then uh, see where we're at. I, I'm not really... I'm not needing any till. So. Especially knowing that there's widgeon like that here now. Alright. Big shout out to Troy. Troy called me last night. He said, hey man, I thought about going and trying yada yada spot. And I'm like, you read my mind. He's like, let's go. I got a spot in mind. I said, let's try it. And here we are. Uh, I marked this bird. It's going to be very tough. Uh, but he went down. He definitely went down. There's flocks of teal. There's a big group of big ducks. I'm ready. Fred found it. Another gadwall. Look at that beauty. I can't believe I found him. Wow. That's a male. He's got a black bill on him. Big old bird. Man, this feels good. Found him right where I marked him. Troy has landed probably a hundred teal since I left. There's a flock of 10, 12 landing on him for the second time right now. 
Yeah, look at that, dude. Big duck. Oh, it feels good that we are back and at it. Come on, y'all. Smash that thumbs up. Old Frederick. Us too. Making it happen. Standing in the cattail. Like a hard peel in here. Yeah, I seen oh, him. Oh, that's a stud gaddy. Yeah? It's not bad for early season either. He ain't lying. He's even starting to get purple on his head already. <laughs> this is awesome, dude. Good boy. Set. Yeah, I seen you land a hundred teal. Yeah. <laughs> and we got ducks, baby. Feels good to be able to say that. Yep. When the cold goes away and it gets 80 degrees, they'll be gone or something. Dude, this morning was going to be the morning to hit it. Yeah. Yep, you are right. The last time, uh, the actually the the one good good time that I came was just like today, but it was that spitting rain morning, and got real chilly, and there was a, like this. It was a good amount of ducks, but not a big ducks. Wow, awesome. What do you think, bud? Look at this high and dry. Yeah, look at the high and dry utility pole getting it done. Uh huh. Got my shells in there. Thank goodness for this thing. Keeps all of our stuff, our birds, out of the water. Dry, hands-free. Um, the only thing that isn't dry is poor Frederick. I was going to bring his Invisa man out here so he could get up out of the water, but that thing is heavy, and I would have been one tired SOB, so uh, I decided to leave that at home. They are doing a... Uh, awesome offer like a 25 dollars free item with your uh, purchase of the high and dry utility pole if you use code bob at checkout um, and then a hefty discount to go with it so check them out i will link them at the top of the description below they're a lifesaver for these situations american made heck of a warranty on them buy one you won't buy another one or anything like it for a long time they are worth every single penny i promise you Pretty sure they only weigh like two and a half pounds or something really stupid light. So today on a 600 yard carry in through water and cattails and brush, I didn't even know it was on my back. I'm not sure if Colin helps. Well, it might. They're coming in hard now. Yo, that was a hen pintail. Oh yeah, I see yep. that Yeah, you see that? Yep, that's a pintail on the back. If you get a shot, oh come on! It could be an early season Drake. It looked like a, a whole neck. <laughs> Oh man, we missed that. <laughs> yeah, some they're gonna shoot them about three, two. Man, that was our dang pintail of the day, probably. Probably the only darn pintail we'll see. Didn't come close enough. I promise you, it was a hand though. Oh, there's a shot. <laughs> we called it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, catch him! Catch him! Catch him! <laughs> yeah. Bang, yeah. Fred. Sorry. I only it's had two shells. Yeah. Not a dog. Yeah. <laughs> my bad. He should get him. I bet. Is that I'm a good. widgeon? That's a widgeon, isn't it? Dude, if it's a widgeon, it's a Eurasian. It had a red head. I seen the red head. It's... All right. Yeah. That bird looked. That bird looked real odd. I think it's a red head, but. I had a white breast. Dead bird. Dead bird. Oh, you got it. Sorry, buddy. Nope. Hand widgeon. Head hand widgeon. I didn't know you had it in your mouth, buddy. Sorry. He did find it. I know. I seen the red head, dude. I saw it too. I thought it looked like either like it or a late season damn pill. Uh, look at everything we got hanging on here. We got his bag, which is real heavy. We got my bag. Uh, and then all the birds. And I can also check this out. Hang my gun on that side. 
That's a lot of weight, really. GoPro is going to die in about five seconds, so we're going to do everything else on my phone. Um, hope it turns out good. Sit. There, good sit. boy. Stay. Sit. Now walk away. Get away from Place. his ass. Stay. He, he wants to love on you. I know he does. Dude, I love you, buddy. We're going to have to deal with you. We'll figure it out. We got to deal with you. Look at him. He don't know what's wrong. It's I all know. right. He's like, I don't understand. It's all right. You just stay there. I open the topper. He stinks bad. Like real bad. Now that we're out of the wind. So we're going to have to uh, look up and Google a remedy. So Beth said she actually wouldn't do it, but she did look up a good recipe <laughs> when I was out back. I go, and I'm going to make Beth do it. Huh? You ain't doing it, you know. So, it calls for home salute, just, just a home remedy. Just Googled it, and this was, uh, I've heard about this before. Um, one quart, 32 ounces, of hydrogen peroxide. And then a quarter cup of baking soda. And then it calls for a couple teaspoons of dish soap. So... Does it say anything about wetting him down first or putting it on while he's dry? This is a lather, which means he needs to be wet. So get him wet first, then lather him, work it, and then let him sit for five minutes. Okay, that's what we're going to do. Well, I dumped the hydrogen peroxide in there. I'm guessing it's safe. Stir it up a little bit. Yeah, it's got to be safe to touch. It's going to go on fret. <laughs> Oof, he stinks. You smell him? I mean, not too bad, actually. Good boy. I don't. I have to get up close to him. I think he got it on his snout. Good thing you got warm water out there, Ricky. That's some good warm water. <laughs> All right, we're going to rinse him down, get him a little wet. God, he stinks. You don't smell that? No. You have to come over here and you'll smell Yeah, I'm him. good. <laughs> they said it Very would be mixture. really foamy. It's not really, really foamy. I wonder if I put too much soap in it. Think so? I don't know. I don't know what else to do. It's not like thick or anything. Like mix it around real good. Kind of burning my under my fingernails. <laughs> it's just like Ooh, a. Oh my god! It burns. I got what? cuts on my hands. Oh. The hydrogen per. Ah! Oh! <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Gone sorry, wrong. buddy. Oh, that can't right feel on good. the face. I'm sorry. Oh, honey. Oh, no, sit, sit, sit. Oof, I'm, I'm gonna have to walk. Okay. Sit, 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 oh, sit. Fred, hurts. sit. Fred, sit. Ow! Ay ouch! Good lord. Look at that cut I got today. That hurts. Oh. It's cleaned out now. Fred, I can't save Fred you. Here. Fred, here. Here, Fred, here. Sit his eyes. Here, oh, sit. Guy. He hates it burning. Well, I drink his eyes out, but then let the rest well, of it sit yeah, for a minute. That's what I'm gonna do. Put some water on your hand and rinse off his nose. Ow! Aww. Sorry, buddy. 